Hey guys, um, this is going to be a quick step into the Jones Zone. I just had some things in my mind about um, like evolution and stuff like that. So uh, just hear me out here. Um, when it uh, comes to the origin of the universe, I think evolutionists they have a uh, they have zero ground to stand on because uh, when it comes to microevolution, uh, we see a lot of extrapolations going on where evolutionists are assuming that just because something can undergo a few small changes to adapt to a new environment, they then draw the conclusion that over a longer period of time, this must therefore lead to uh, greater changes, where the animal becomes like an entirely uh, you know, different species or whatever. But I suppose evolutionists, they can argue the same thing about creationists, when they assume that there's a, a creator builder, you know, just simply because we ourselves are um, builders and creators and stuff like that. So this is also an extrapolation, but the extrapolation ends when we look at, you know, into the nature of God and we see that he himself has no creator. That's when the extrapolation ends. All right, so, uh, but let's be honest, though. Even from a logical perspective, which which one of these makes more sense? The notion that a single cell without any intelligence guiding it whatsoever produced a palm tree, a shark, and a human being. And, and let's just say all the elements in the universe or an all-powerful God created everything according to their will. Uh, you guys let me know what you think in the description. That's all I have uh, to say about it. And um, God loves you. And, uh, and I love you.